Oh, something new. Uh, Simon and Patrick, Songsmith Folk, CW Burst EQ. Long name. But, uh, yeah, something from a new player. And coming in for a setup. I don't know what year this thing is. But he wants it fairly easy to play because he's just starting out. So we're going to set it up nice for him. So, as always, first thing neck relief. Under 12. Might have to release that a little bit. Uh, get you in the movie here. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to let that truss rod go just a little bit. We got. Not enough relief in the neck. Although, we got no buzzing happening. Uh, I think we'll let it go just a little bit. Just a hair. Uh, Canadian built guitar. I think it's a good possibility. It's metric. Oh, there we go. asked about was the action on it and right now we are at mm, yeah we're high on this four five six seven sixty fourths and the bottom don't look too bad Five sixty fourths. So we're gonna have to bring down the bridge a little bit and get some measurements, and we're gonna shave the bridge down just a touch on the saddle on the base side. One thing I do like to do is when I take the bridge pin out, I'll put a piece of tape. I put them in the same order, so they always go back into the same slot. Two thirty seconds off the base side and a thirty second off the treble side. And that just kind of favor that base side with the pressure. And we'll keep going, flipping it back and forth so we keep it nice and square. And once again, strings are off. Best time to clean, clean, clean. Okay. 
Everywhere where you can't reach with the strings on is especially important. And of course we'll clean up the frets and oil everything up too. All clean and shiny. We'll get the saddle back in there. And the strings du jour are Earthwood Phosphor Bronze Light Strings. Eh, one I'm not really familiar with. Ernie Ball. So I'll give these things a go. And they are 11 to 52. Well, that seems to be light on the bottom and heavy, or light on the top and heavy on the bottom. I could be wrong. 11 is a pretty light gauge. So we'll get that in there. Again, pins go back where they were originally. And start the whole process over again with the new strings on. It's all clean and shiny and everything's tight and working well. Let us check the neck relief first. Always start capo on the first fret. Fret the 14th. Check about the 7th or 8th. Oh, and we're... Uh, it could be a little more relief on there. Could use a little more loosening. Not much. We'll see how it sounds. If it's not buzzing, I'm going to leave it. And my string action. At the 12th fret, I have got just a hair over 530, 564s. And other E and right about there too. So it looks like I'm 564 all the way across. Which is good. Now It's not buzzing. I think we can leave the neck relief like it is. Like I said, new player, so keep it as easy on his fingers as possible. So he is encouraged to carry on with his hobby. And I got a pick in here somewhere of some sort.
I think it's ready to go home. Now, well, actually, I'll check it all over again tomorrow. Leave it sit. And only after it's all copacetic will I trim the strings off. And we'll send it back home. So, yeah, it's a nice little guitar. Uh, Simon and Patrick Songsmith Folk CW, probably for cutaway, burst with an EQ. It's got some sort of little Godin tuner thing on here. Made in Canada. So yeah, cool. Thanks for dropping by folks.